Hey guys, it's your girl Pixie and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to Pixie's World. If you guys are not, welcome back. Um, Today's video is basically going to be about a couple lessons that I've learned throughout the years. Um, but before, before we get into the video, guys, please like, please comment, please share, please subscribe. And please be sure to follow me on my other social media platforms. What's up, guys? Happy New Year! Um, I don't really hate this camera because it's not doing me justice. But 2020 been a wonderful year for me, guys. Your girl got in shape, but got a little bit smaller. You really can't. Oh my god, this camera don't do me justice. Like the girl got a waist now. I ain't never have no waist, y'all. Um, I've been going to the gym, and I gotta give a little bit of credit to my waist trainer. If you guys haven't seen my waist trainer videos, check that out. Um, I actually have another waist trainer video coming for you guys. Um, but um, yes, guys, let's get into the video. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go through like a little list of stuff that I learned throughout the years and just little lessons that I learned. Um, but y'all, all this stuff, this is crap I've been through, the BS I've been through. Take it from me so y'all ain't got to go through this. Um, it's a new year, y'all. We got to do new things. Don't be going backwards. Um, especially y'all that's like past y'all 26, 30s, 40s. Like Before I get into my list, I just want to say this. If you have been doing the same thing for four or five years, however many years, two, three years, one year, two years, and they ain't been working out for you guys, it's time to do something different, guys. No more excuses, no more, no more, no more blaming other people, no more blaming circumstances, no more repeating the same patterns, y'all. It's a time to take accountability and it's time to do something different. You know what I mean? It's time to do something different, y'all. So let's just get into the video and let's just wake up and do something different, y'all. Um, all right. So the first thing I'm going to say is be careful what you wish for. Um, I had to learn the hard way. So if you guys watch my videos, it's all about self growth and, you know, healing and all that. But, um, if you guys watch other people's videos, when they say, like, manifesting and praying, like, you really have to wa watch what you wish for, like, and what I mean by that is, like, all right, so, I wrote this down because I remember I had one of the girlfriends so bad, but I wasn't specific, so, we're like, when you're not specific about what you want, you're going to get anything. I got the girlfriend, but she was terrible, like, you really have to be, you have to be specific about what you want. That's why it's important to write down and talk to God and pray for exactly what you want. When they be like, oh, you want a car. When people, when people, when people have manifesting videos about like, oh, uh, yeah, I want a car. What kind of car do you want? What do you do? What do you want it to look like? Like, you want a Lambo. You can have a messed up Lambo. You can get, like, I wanted a Lexus. I got a Lexus, but it was an old ass Lexus. Like, you have to be specific about what you want. You can't just, oh, I want a girlfriend. Because I wish me for a girlfriend. I got one. I did. I wanted it so bad. I got one. And this was back in 2017, but I got one. Y'all already know about that. Y'all seen all my videos, crazy shit. I went through my exes. If y'all didn't, go check them videos out. I got plenty of them. But I asked for a girlfriend, and I did get the girlfriend, but she was terrible. I asked for no good person. I asked for no qualities. I just, I didn't ask. So I got what I asked for, and this was just a girlfriend. Um, the next thing I want to say, y'all... I went through this as well. If y'all watched my video um, about how I got attacked and all that and what changed me. It's never a stranger. It's never a stranger. A stranger doesn't know you exist, y'all. Or if they do, they don't know you. They don't know what you drive. They don't know how you live in. They don't know what you got. It's usually your friends that be hating on you. It's usually the friend that sleep with your girlfriend. It's usually the girlfriend who treat on you. It's usually the person, your mom, whoever shit on you. It's not a stranger. They don't know you like that to hurt your feelings. They don't know what's going to hurt you. If people who know you, what, the, what, what, what make you tick? Sorry, guys, let me slow down. It's people who know what make you tick. It's people who know what drive you crazy. That's the ones that be doing you dirty, y'all. So just be careful. Like, the importance of, like, privacy and keeping your dreams and your stuff to yourself is so important. Um, y'all, is never a stranger. You don't get your feelings hurt by strangers. You're always going to get your feelings hurt by your friends and the ones that's closest to you and the ones you think will never, ever do it to you. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is learn better. And what I mean by that is do the work. 
do the growth, do the exercises, pray to God, go to the gym, like learn, learn what you need to do. Learn about what's been messing with you. Learn about your childhood, your childhood growth. Learn about, you know, a, a craft. Learn about something to make you extra money. Learn about what you're not doing right so you could do better. And then the next year, my next advice is after you learn better, do better. What you learn, do something about it. Don't just read the book and be like, oh, okay, I read it, whatever, whatever, my earring came out. Um, don't just read the book or don't just find out your trauma and then still, oh, all right, I know what my trauma is. I'm going to go back to doing me. No, do better. Do learn from what you was messed up at. Learn from your mistakes. Learn from your past. There's no excuses now. When you don't know no better, you don't know no better. But when you know better, you know better. If you knew better, you do better. Learn better and do better. Um... The next thing I'm going to say is looks can be deceiving, y'all. Don't be thinking, and I went through this with my last girlfriend from two years ago. Oh, she looks so sweet. She wasn't her to fly. That girl that looks so innocent put me through the ringer. She put me through hell. She put me in so much drama. Quiet ones, is, they, you know what I say? It's always the quiet ones. Just because somebody's quiet doesn't mean that they got good energy. Sometimes people that's quiet be the ones that sneak this and low key. They throw stones and hide their hand. You know what I mean? So don't just think, don't just look at somebody like even with even with people who you see on the internet, oh, they look like they're doing so good. Like I learned this in the um in the strip club. Maybe them girls who do the best tricks. They got the nicest clothes. They don't got nowhere to stay. Be borrowing clothes from people. People be on their top because they look like they doing something. They be giving them stuff. Letting them drive their cars, but they really don't have nothing. They really don't have no personality, no goals. And they just nothing but drama. Like, looks can be deceiving, y'all. So pay attention to that. Um, Just really pay attention to that. Um, The next thing I'm going to say is motherfuckers could care less about you unless you're doing something for them. Pay attention to people that you're dealing with when you tell them you can't or when you tell them no or when you be like, oh, all right, well, you know, um, it's a quick story. I had somebody ask me to do something for them and then, you know, they was all hype and I'm like, why you, we don't even talk like that no more. You asking me for something, but we don't even talk like that. But fast forward, I asked them like, all right, well, you, you want to, you want to drop, you want to stop past my house and pick something up, but can you drop something off for me too? Left me on red, no response. Why do people think that they could just. Get you to do whatever, and then they don't got to do nothing for you. And it wasn't about, like, I needed somebody to do something for me so they could do something about... For, it wasn't about them doing something for me so that... Doing something for them so they could do something for me. Because you should not have to... Nobody should have to do something for you for you to do something for them. You know, Y'all know what I'm trying to say. But it was just the nature of that relationship. Like, we haven't talked in months. We haven't been talking in a while. And then, because, and you know we don't. And then you just think, oh... We haven't talked in a while. You could just hop up and just come put something at my house and then keep it pushing. Can I, can you do the same thing for me? And it wasn't even about like them saying, yeah, I can. I feel like you could have made a joke like, all right, I got you next week or something. Like, I got you. But no, like people will really show you like they will literally be okay with asking you for something. And then when it's your turn to ask them for something, it's not tit for tat, but it's going to be a time where somebody needs you and it's going to be a time where you need them. And it sucks when they always can need you, but you can never need them. That was the more of that story. So, um, like I said, people, like I said, pay attention to people when you can't do something for them or when they can't use you. You know what I mean? It'd be a lot of people trying to use me. And they'll be, I'll be, I'll be just, I'll be, I'll be peeping it. Like people be trying to hit like, oh, I need to do that. They, they call you and they be trying to itch their way into asking you for something. And sometimes they will ask and sometimes they won't. Or sometimes you could just tell that they, they asking for something. And then when, as soon as you can't do it, then they start being weird. And it's like, you don't talk to me like that. Ask the people you've been spending all year with, playing around with, having fun with, bullshitting around with, all the gay. Ask them, but you can't. Why are you asking me? That's just weird to me, like the audacity of people. I'm not asking nobody for nothing, but that's just me. Um, the next thing I'm going to say is watch who y'all spend your time with. Watch the negativity. Like, you can be somebody that's on track and then... Somebody just always want to go to the bar, always want to go to a bar. Next thing you know, you you used to say you wasn't going to drink like that. Next thing you know, you drinking all the time. You smoking all the time. You gossiping all the time. Like, even if it's not you, you might get caught up in some environment with some parents who just doing something that they ain't got no business doing or you ain't got no business. That's their that's they choice if that's what they want to do. Um, The next thing that I'm going to say is 
don't wait on nobody and don't hate on nobody. I have a video um, on that, guys. The link is going to be in the description if you want to check that out. But don't wait on nobody. Don't hate on nobody. I have a lot of friends or just people, not friends, <laughs> people I know who wanted to go on a trip, but they ain't had nobody to go with. Or they wanted to do this, but they ain't had no, you know what I mean? They ain't had nobody or, you know, people who was used to traveling when they was in relationships and now they single and then they single friends want to do nothing like don't wait on nobody to, um, there's so many people who want to travel, there's so many people who want to take trips, like, you can find, the people are go by yourself, it is what it is, do what you gotta do, um, don't hate on nobody, don't be wondering why somebody got something that you don't got, um, if you haven't seen my video, um, about what Cardi B said, like, don't be a why her and not me type of person, um, check that video out in the link, um, below too, don't, don't be like why her and not me, like, just like they got it, you can get it. Just like motherfuckers was in rough situations. There's so many celebrities that was living with roaches and rats and they up. Like, you could do it. Stop thinking that. Don't be jealous that somebody got something that they that you don't. They did more. Or you don't know what they did to get it. But they got it and you can get it too. Like, just period. Like, just period. Um, And just before I end the video, I just want to get into like a brief what been going on with me type time, what my year been, been been like, what it been, you know. Um, overall, my year has been pretty chilling. This is 2022 we talking about. Um, you know, I've been through my emotions. You Y'all got my videos. Y'all see what I've been going through. And, you know, I've just been growing and going to the gym and elevating myself and working in on my businesses. And, no, I am not where I want to be in my businesses. And I haven't all the way put my businesses all the way out there like I should have done, but it's all a stepping stone, you know what I mean? I wasn't at the best clubs I wanted to be at. I wasn't as far in my dancing as I wanted to be. I wasn't as far in my pole, but I used 2019, 2020, and 2021, 2022 to get me up a step, you know what I mean? I don't know if y'all be seeing them pictures and it'd be like a ladder and it'd be like the ladder with the teeny steps and then the ladder with the big giant steps and it'd be like the importance of taking um, small steps. Because when you fall off, you run down one step. But when you trying to hurry up and jump up, when you come down, it's a big ass down. You know what I mean? Or just, it take harder to just leap. Like, you got to take baby steps. You know what I mean? And like I said, I'm not nowhere where I'm supposed to be. But I know that the stuff that I was doing little by little is a buildup. It's gaining muscle. You know what I mean? For you to be able to take higher leaps. So I'm not mad. I'm not mad that I didn't get where I needed to be. I'm not going to beat myself up. We're not going to beat ourselves up. We're just going we to do better in the next year. That's just all it's going to be. We're not beating ourselves up about the past. Like, we're not focusing on the past right now. We're not doing too much for the future. The stuff you're doing every day is going to build your future. You know what I mean? So don't beat yourself up if your business ain't turn out the way y'all did last year. Just keep going. Keep staying consistent. And it's going, it's going to get there. Like, don't think about nothing in the past. Just keep climbing towards the future, y'all, and take your little tiny steps. Um, but yeah, so, you know, that was a build-up. I done stayed away from people. I done stayed away from drama. Um, but, you know, along the way, you start, um, you know, meeting new people or meeting new experiences. I took a trip or two this year. I went to Atlanta. If y'all haven't seen my Atlanta video, go check that out. I was talking to somebody, and oh, my God. I got to thank the books that I've read. So I just started back reading books this year, um, last year, 2020, in March. And y'all you know, I always mention this book, The Human Laws, the, no the Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. Oh my God, that book taught me so much. And just when you're growing in yourself, you start becoming intuitive. If you're spiritual, you start getting spiritual messages from God or whoever you believe in. And... I haven't really gotten a relationship with anybody that this year, but I, I was dating. And because I focused on myself and my spirit and what I knew I liked and what I didn't, I was able to navigate the dating a little bit better. I was cutting people off. I wasn't spending six or seven months. I really wasn't getting all hurt. I wasn't getting all in my feelings over people. People would be lying to me and it would be like, they wouldn't even know I, they would be, that I knew they would be lying to me. I would just be listening to their crap and just listening, watching them lie to me. You know what I mean? You know, I, I I watch people who fake emotional, then they not. One day they care, the next day they don't. They nonchalant. People are nonchalant when it comes to them. They don't want to give a fuck when it's, they got to do their part. 
But when you're not doing their part, that's when they emotional. That's when they care. That's when it's, oh my God. That's when it's, yeah, but I just, I learned a lot about people. I stayed out of a lot of drama. Um, I just sat back and just watched people. I watched how people move. You know, you know, it was a human nature taught me like how don't move off of emotions. Take your time and think about, analyze before you say anything, before you do anything. I learned to shut my mouth. I learned to shut my mouth. I'm still going to be an outspoken person. But I'm outspoken about myself or like um, uh, general stuff. Never be too outspoken about somebody else's business. Because you, you can control your emotions, but you can't tr control nobody else's. You don't know if somebody's going to try to get you back from a statement you made two weeks ago, a opinion you had two weeks ago. You are allowed to say like, oh yeah, I think that the sky should be blue or pink. Or I think that my shoes should be six inches taller or your skirt should be a little longer. But you don't say like, Oh, you need to be a better mom or you need to get in control of your life. Unless that's your friend, mind your business. Shut your mouth. If you hear somebody gossiping about somebody else and you if you listening to the gossip, let them talk. You might you want to be aware of your surroundings, but don't be like, oh well, that girl told me that because next thing you know, you in something that don't got nothing to do with you. So when it comes to like, like I said, you can talk about nails and clothes and shoes and cutesy outfits and stuff, but once it comes to people gossiping or people life. Keep your mouth closed. Um, you listen to learn your surroundings and make sure you're cool. But shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, guys. Keep your opinions to yourself. Um, watch people. Watch. Give time. You know what I mean? If you haven't seen my video, The Importance of Getting to Know People, watch that. Because you, people don't always, like I said, they're not always as they seem. And it takes people more than a month or two to reveal who they are. So never give nobody too much credit from day one. Watch them. Watch them. Like I said, 30 days makes a habit. 90 days makes a lifestyle. Somebody might be somebody in 30 days and 90 days, they might be somebody different. You know what I mean? 90 days is going to show their lifestyle and how they really live. Everybody's always glamorous in the beginning. Everybody, Everything always seems perfect from the beginning. And I'm not about me saying that anybody is perfect, but you know what I'm saying, like, and then when you start liking somebody all the man, you start giving them excuses and giving them credit. And but no, they were sweet to me and da, 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 but no, they gave me this knowing damn well, yeah, they did something for you nice today. But what was they doing the rest of the 30 days? You know what I mean? So watch how people move. They might be nice to you that day because they want something from you. Watch how people wear. Watch how when you tell people no or you unavailable or you can't do for them, how they really treat you. Like Watch how much the effort somebody put into you. Watch if you if you're not making all the phone calls. What happens when your relationship? If you're not one of one reaching out all the time, or you're not always giving them a ride, or you know whatever, you're not always giving them a place to stay, or letting them come over, or whatever the case may be, or you just tell them, oh, I can't, I'm busy right now. When we watch people, um, I this year have yes, of course, have encounters with people, but not as much as like the usual past couple years, and um. The best advice that I'm just going to give y'all is to really grow within yourself. Once y'all start growing within yourself, it will really make it easier to navigate and watch other people. And um, this world is very poisonous. Um, the shit we eat, the shit we watch, the drinks, the liquor, the people we be around, the shit on um, YouTube, the shit on fucking Facebook, the shit on, you know, Instagram. And you really don't realize how poisonous this shit is until you're not doing it as much no more. And I'm like, damn, like, this world is really fucking poisonous out here. Um, so just, just, just watch people. Be a people watcher, guys. Be a people watcher. Be very quick to speak and quicker to listen. I mean, be very slow to speak and be quick to listen. Because when you're talking, you're only repeating what you know. But when you listen, you learn something new. And um, when you watch people, it's stuff that people do when they, you ever heard that saying, like, it's like, it's like, it's always somebody watching. There's so much stuff that go on behind the scene when nobody think you're really looking. Really, sometimes I just sit back at my job and just watch people or just like, I hear them talking, but it's like, I act like I don't, I'm not listening. But I'm not listening to be nosy, but it's just people characters, the shit people say when they don't think nobody listening to them, the shit people, it's not always about what people do when you looking. It's about what people do when nobody's looking. It's about your character and who you want to be when you go home and when you sleep at night and when there's nobody there. Um, 
You don't know what people, what people, what people doing. You don't know what if they can't sleep at night, the anxieties, the stuff they going through. And I'm like, guys, I'm by no means doing perfect, but you will never know because I'm and my energy is, you know, and you know people bring their problems with them. They mad at work every day. I got shit too, but I'm coming to work every day mad or upset or just I'm just trying to heal and grow. And um, bringing your problems with you and your worries with you and your drama with you is not going to do you no justice. So, you know, just take your time and just learn lessons, learn about, learn, learn. My mom used to always tell me, learn your lessons through other people. You don't always have to go through the lessons. You don't have to touch fire 10 times to know that it's going to burn. Stop putting your hand in the fire because you already know. Like, be logical with yourself. And once you start getting to know yourself and you start creating more standards for yourself, you are not going to try to keep putting your hands in fire knowing damn well that it's going to burn. So, um... I got some more videos for you guys coming up. It's the new year. We on game. We growing. We learning. We healing. And we leaving crazy people and toxic energy. Toxic people and energy alone. We reading more books. We investing in ourselves and not just money wise. Just reading and exercising. And we investing in ourselves this year. We not we not holding ourselves. We not beating ourselves up for what happened last year. The mistakes we made. You thank God. Get on your hands and knees and thank God that He gave you a second chance. And every day is a new day. I don't even care if you already messed up early this year. It, tomorrow is a new day, baby. Apologize to God. Ask him for some forgiveness and grow and leave that alone. It's, that was yesterday. Today is a new day. Stop thinking about what yesterday already happened. It's nothing you could do to get it back. All you could do is focus on a new day, the new year, the new week, the new month, and the new bag. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys. So all my people who've been rocking out with me, I just want to take a moment out to thank you guys. Um, my, my channel is about healing and growing. And I know, like I say, I mentioned all the time, it's going to take me a long time because there's more toxicity than it is peace and growth and healing out there. But the ones that's going to want to grow with me and the ones that want to heal, y'all going to help me. Y'all going to help me. Y'all going to light the way. God going to have my, his life for me. He going to have his life for y'all. And, um, you already know what I'm going to say, guys. Please pray to God. Please protect your peace. I got some nice material coming out for y'all. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Happy New Year. Mwah.